On this episode of Mahjong Nosh and Such, I'm going to make wasabi deviled eggs. I like deviled eggs, but I thought instead of doing a classic version, I wanted to do something a little bit different. And I found this wasabi mayo at the Asian market. So we're going to try it. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but we'll see. Then I wanted to share with you a couple things. I finally got a piping bag. I have no idea how this is going to go together. I've never done it before, so we'll see what happens, but it looks like fun. So I'll leave a link below the video to this. And then I also got this adorable dish from Mud Pie. And I've seen it before in, in um, gift shops and such, and I've always wanted to get it, but I never did. And finally I decided I'm going to get one because I just think it's so cute. Look at that. And I think that you can use this for things other than deviled eggs. I mean, you could put like um, some butter lettuce in here and put muffins in there. You could put other sorts of um, one biters. I don't know, but I'm planning on using this in more ways than just for deviled eggs. So I wanted to share that with you too. So let's get to these deviled eggs. What I have is six eggs for the actual dish. And then I have two extras because I like extra yolk. And then I have a third of a cup of the wasabi mayonnaise. I have two teaspoons of rice wine vinegar. Then I have a half a teaspoon of soy sauce. And then I have here some finely sliced chives for garnish. And that's it. So here we go. I'm just going to cut these in half and the good ones I'll put on the dish. Ooh, they turned out perfect. You know, sometimes how when you make these, they turn green. I think I finally learned just by searching on the internet, how to make the best uh, boiled eggs. And basically what you do is you uh, put your eggs in the water and then you bring it to a boil. Once it's at a rolling boil, you put a lid on it and turn the heat to simmer for 12 minutes. And then you put it in an ice bath for about an hour. And that's it. When I was growing up, my mom would basically boil them for 12 minutes. And sometimes they had a, a little bit of a green layer on the outside. And it doesn't affect the flavor at all. It just kind of tints the final product. So I'm hoping that these will be a nice bright color. Now, this mayonnaise is green, so I'm hoping that that will not result in kind of an odd color. We'll see. So I'm putting these on here as uniformly as possible. And really it doesn't matter, I don't think, because we're gonna we're gonna pipe the yolk in there anyway. So I think that it'll look fine in the end. These all turned out really good. I just had one that was kind of wonky. When I put it in the water, it cracked. And anytime you have one that cracks, the white kind of seeps out and you get a really funky shape. So the best thing to do is to put them in the, in the water or put them in the pan before you put them in the pan before you put water in it. That way you can kind of put them in there carefully. Okay, I think I made too many eggs, but that's okay, because I can have one to taste. Just one though, because I'm dieting again. I'm trying to lose, well, 20 pounds, but I already lost 
almost 10 pounds. So I, this, this particular bite that I'm going to have is a cheat. So I'm only going to have one little tiny bite just to see how the flavor is. And then maybe if it doesn't affect my progress in the morning, <laughs> if I have a one pound gain because of a bite of a deviled egg with mayonnaise in it, then I probably will have just my family eat these eggs and I will not partake. But if, if it doesn't affect my weight, I might actually eat these. We'll see. On this particular diet, I'm on the HCG protocol. You can look that up if you're interested. Go to best choice changes. That's where I get my HCG. So anyway, um, oh, this one was slightly green, but it'll be okay. So anyway, um, you're not allowed to have uh, all these, you know, the fat, the mayo. The egg is fine. It's the mayo. That's not good. So we'll see. Okay, so uh, I'm going to just set that aside and then we're going to just use a fork to mash up the egg. And I want it to be as fine as possible because I want it to be pretty. You know, if it's all lumpy, that might not look so good. So I'm going to just mush it up pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna put in the mayonnaise, the rice wine vinegar, and then the soy sauce. Maybe I'll just do the soy sauce first. It smells kind of spicy. And it's pretty funky color. We'll see what this looks like. I don't know. Okay, so now I am going to mix it up. That's not bad. It's yellow. There's a little tinge of green, but I don't think it'll be too noticeable. Okay, this is the wasabi I got. Wasabi mayo. Dynasty brand. Okay, now let's get this out. So it comes with this case, which I thought was kind of cool. And it's got all these different tips two different silicone bags and these connectors. So I watched a couple of videos on it. I hope I remember how to do this. Oh, there are three different sizes. Look at that. That is pretty cool. I think I'll use the medium sized one. So these are reusable, which is kind of nice, I think. Okay, now, which one of these do I use? I have no idea. I've never done this before. Um, I'm thinking that maybe I should do like this one. I think. Oh my goodness. This would be really fun to practice with and just I don't know, get some frosting or something and figure it out. Maybe I'll do this bigger one. This one has a little bit of a bigger opening. I think we'll do that one. Okay, now let's see here. Um, I think these are for when you do different colors. So I don't think we're gonna need that. I'm gonna just leave that in there. Okay, then what you do is you stick this in the bag, push it on down there. 
like that. And you're going to put that in there. And then we're going to scoop out the filling into this bag. Boy, you can really smell that wasabi. Okay, now we're going to lift this up and squeeze it down. Okay, that was pretty easy so far. So, here we go. So I think I'm going to stick it in there and then I'm going to go around, push, lift. That's my plan. That's kind of what I saw on videos. Push and lift. Yeah. I think this is going to have to come with practice, but it looks pretty good. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, I'm running out. Golly, maybe I should have done more eggs. I think this is going to take some practice. Okay, that one's not so pretty. All right, now they look pretty good. But I think this is going to take some practice. Okay, those are the testers. All right, I have some extra. Okay, those will be for the teenager. <laughs> okay, that was pretty easy. Oh boy. All right, now I am going to just put a little garnish on there. And you know, I looked up some recipes for this idea, and there's a few different garnishes you can use. Of course, there's the ever famous paprika, but I'm not gonna use paprika this time. I decided I wanted to use chives, but also on there was seaweed. So do a julienne of seaweed, which is interesting, and I may do that another time. And then also they had on there um, black sesame seeds. So I'll have those ideas in the video description. So let's just put on just a few chives. And I love the smell of chives. Okay, this is gonna take me a minute. So I will speed it up. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so here we go, in for a taste. Just a little teeny bite though, because I do not want to wreck this diet. It is really hard to do, and I don't want to ruin it. So my mahjong nosh and such cooking, I'm only going to have a little teeny teeny taste from now on, at least until I'm done with the diet. So here we go. I'm going to take a little sniff. You can definitely smell that wasabi. Okay, I'm going to taste it now. You know what, I want to have a little bit of chive on there. There we go. Mmm. You can definitely taste that wasabi. Oh gosh, that's nice. There's a little bit of a, a bite to it, 
of course, if you don't like wasabi, you probably won't like this, but it kind of lingers. I like it. I like it a lot. Try it and let me know what you think about it. I think next time I'm going to try the seaweed garnish and those black sesame seeds. I think that will look really nice. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and click the bell. That way you'll get notification for when I post another video and you won't miss another opportunity to learn about a new Mahjong Nosh recipe. I think this one will be perfect for brunch, lunch, or even dinner. Between now and the next episode of Mahjong Nosh and such, may all your picks be keepers.